the founder of the Pentecostal Credit Union, Reverend Kamel Jones. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you all here tonight and thank you for joining us in this celebration of PCU is 35 years in business. As the founder, you will know how very special this evening is to me. I'm here tonight as the founder, but you know that I did not do this alone. Without my dear wife and some very without my dear wife and some very key special people we would none of us be here this evening tonight and I want to honor and pay tribute to those people who stood with me and steadfastly supported me in the very early days when many of our people who were skeptical and short-sighted wouldn't some of those people are here tonight, not the short-sighted and skeptical ones. Others are passed on and no longer with us, such as the late Bishop R.C. Bell, Church of God in Christ Calvary, the late Melvin Powell, New Testament Assembly, the late Bishop Michael Ramsey, Church of God Worldwide Mission, the late Bishop B.A. Pitt, Faith Chapel UPC Center. All are forever with the Lord. Their names are engraved on the Hannah's Bold in Credit Union, also in your brochure, that support, that support is still ongoing as we speak with Bishop Ray Francis, and Bishop Delroy Powell. God bless you, sir. Those that are here tonight, I'd like to, you to stand where you are as I say your name. Mr. P.D. Clark, our auditor. Mr. Clark, stand, stand where you are. <laughs> Bishop Lloyd Thomas, you can be seated now. Bishop Black Thomas, stand we are uh, stand up. Where are you? Reverend George Smith. <laughs> Superintendent Fox. <laughs> Reverend Christine Smith. <laughs> Reverend Leonor Williams. Pastor Leonora Wright Richards, <laughs> Reverend Phil Roy Fort, <laughs> Mr. Beverly Tomlin, <laughs> Mrs. Naomi Ashman, Mrs. B. Wilburn, <laughs> Mrs. Kathleen Johnson. Reverend Kathleen Johnson and Reverend Patrick Jean Pierre. But I must give thanks to this special thanks to Mr. Clark, who audited our books for 32 years, 16 of those years, completely free. Hello. 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 Can you imagine the contribution? And when it was time for him to take some pay, he said, give me what you like. This gentleman, ladies and gents, they, he is one of the pillars of the Pentecostal movement. Praise 
Mrs. N. Ashman, could you stand, please? Is she still here? Naomi Ashman. That lady, ladies and gents, she leave from work and come home. And when I finish my shift at 10.30 in the night, she's still there. Sometime till 12 o'clock, I take her home. A special hand to Mr. Sashman, please. <laughs> Miss Beverly Tomlin. Stand where you are, Bev. When we used to write up our journal manually, in 1984, I was called away to Jamaica to bury my dad. And this dear lady wrote up the manual, the member sheet, and the journal all by her hand. The next day we computerized. Thank you. Thank you. Some of those people who labored with us all day and every day and late into night sometimes late into night late into the night sometimes and were the first and early directors of the PCU. And they are those churchy, church leaders and friends who were with us today, some not, continuing to support and champion the PCU. Amongst them are Bishop Charles Wright, Assemblies of the Firstborn, <laughs> Apostle Robert L. Bent, New Life Assembly, is not here. <laughs> Bishop Leroy Francis, United Pentecostal Church, he's not here. But this one is here. Miss Marcy Dixon, who writes the Keep the Faith, the Voice, and the Soul Steering. Ladies and gentlemen, this lady has done more for the credit union. I, I can't praise her and thank her enough. All the articles in the brochure is written by her. In the soul stirring and the people, the dinners that they held in the House of Commons and the Commonwealth Institute, they are all recorded and published by Miss Marcia Dixon. A hand for her, please. So where did it all start? Where did it all start? What was the inspiration? I should say that I have always been interested in working with people and concerned about the, the challenges that face many of us in the early years of migration to the UK from the Caribbean. These, these things touch me to the core. People used to ask me for financial help. They used to come to me for money to borrow. Sometimes I didn't have it. And I would borrow, borrow it to lend. I would use a famous partner. I would use my partner, draw, to pay those back who lend me. And those who I lend always repay the debt. I never refuse anyone and they never let me down. Amen. Panda, as you know, is a sacred thing amongst the Caribbean community. community. 
every immigrant community has their own community, community banking system where they go to get their lending and financial support when mainstream banks refuse them. And for us from the Caribbean, this is our partner, our savings and loans club. And people still show their partner today, despite improved and more inclusive banking facilities and credit union. Hello? Partner helped us to buy our homes in the 50s and 60s and help us to send and help us to settle in this country and very often send for loved ones to join us in the UK. Not true? Yes. All right. What I did realize at the time was that I was being tested and crafted for the ministry to come, the Pentecostal Credit Union. The church leadership in the Calvary Church of God in Christ, which I joined from my conversion and have been a steady member over 50 years, watch my growth in this ministry because that is what it really was. They offered me the role as the minister, but I politely refused because I could not see how this was going to benefit the whole spectrum in the way I aspired to. But I made my request and petition known to God, and I prayed for guidance in the right direction. I waited, and I waited. Then one Saturday morning in 1979, I was in my office where I worked, and I spied in the Sun newspaper an article about credit unions put out by the Credit Union League at Great Britain and the Citizen Advice Bureau. After I read it, I stopped and said, praise and thanks be to the great name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I knew it was the Lord because I felt the quickening of the Holy Spirit. I went to the post office just across the road from where the company is and sent a money order for pound twenty for a copy of the credit unit rule book. Hear this. I spent the next four weeks studying the rule book and that has as I read the book, I prayed. I knew that the Lord had given me this commission. But I needed to know that he would stay with me and give me strength and courage and show me that he would be with me always. I had, continue, I had another vision. I saw the Lord Jesus Christ majestically robed. He asked me, what was the object in my hand? I told him it was the rule book, sir. He told me, go your way and do what is in your heart. I am with you. I woke up and shook my wife awake at 4.30 that morning and told her that I received the all clear as the Lord has said to me, what we are about to do is sanctioned by him. I've, and I prayed and thanked God from the depth of our hearts. Praise his wonderful name. Now I must talk about this wonderful lady who has been the essence of my life for nearly 60 years. Hello. Thank you. Since November 1957, Ibelin Joan has been my partner 
I'm going to change that as being my wife, as being my wife, my partner in life, and the better part of that partnership. As with all things in our life, she has been with me by my side for good or ill in the building of this credit union. She gave up her front room to be the first office of the credit union. And you know how important the front room is to a Caribbean family. And she was the engine and driver that kept us all going. No one can keep the books as well as she can. Forget about computers. This woman's mind is the computer. A little diversion. It is well known scientifically that women can hear and think at both sides of the brain and man can only think at one side only. Hello. Fact. Fact. That is a fact. Okay. However, in the mid 1980s, PCU was one of the first credit union to be computerized using a system known as Kuna Data. That was done through Apple. I love her for all her strength and vitality and her support for me and our work together in building the Pentecostal Credit Union. She became the full-time manager at PSU in 1983 until her retirement in 2013. I retired in 2012, and I retired one year later. I'm proud, and here the son, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say that my grandson, Shane, I... I am proud to say that my grandson, Shane, continues the work as part of the new, new team at the helm of the credit union. Yeah. Shane joined us in 1999 as a volunteer. He was waiting for a posting in the home office after graduating with a two to one political de degree from the London, from the University of London. He worked with us while he waited and showed that talent for the work and conviction for the credit union values. When his posting was, when his posting at the home office eventually materialized, he obtained a graduate training commission. I realized that we were going to lose a great talent and prospective leader. I told him, you can't go nowhere. You have to stay. Whatever they offer you, we will match it are better yet. And I'm not sorry. We were in the office together the day the phone rang for him. And it was the home office giving him a start date. And he told them that he is going nowhere. He's saying, I peace you. I'm so pleased and proud that the Lord has selected my grandson to carry on this work. He is 100% committed, honest, and true. And you can't, Mark, you can't find any other person to deal with business 
not shame. Credit you in a distance. I must close now by giving my heartfelt appreciation and thanks to the current chair and leadership of the board, of the board and staff of the credit union. Of the credit union team through some difficult times. And to this point where we can celebrate together the achievements of the credit union. I pray for the leadership team as they continue to work and that they provide the strength and that they're provided with the strength for the task they've taken on. Any individual, group, or company who seek to shape lives, make a difference, and making a difference will face challenges. David and his journey to, the, to put the Philistine giant out of his misery encounter challenges from his birth brothers. David's response is there not a cause? Is there not a cause? Matthew, Matthew chapter 12 1 to 5 I leave that to the Bible scholars to check me out on that. I had my challenges too. But forward ever, backward never, together with God's and our sides, we shall prevail. Finally, my thanks, my profound thanks to all the membership of the PCU for their unstinting support and loyalty to PC over the years. You are truly the cream of the credit union movement in Great Britain. I anticipate by the time of the next celebration of this kind for PCU, the government will loosen the shackles on credit unions and allow the movement much more flexibility to grow. Forward ever, backward never. Amen. Amen.